All right, I'd like to request some urgent prayer for a uh, sister in the Lord. Um, she hasn't been saved very long, but uh, she's coming out of some very, very wicked things, a uh, very wicked past, and she still has some ties in with her past, um, particularly a house in Hollywood that uh, she needs to sell. Um, she needs to get out of this area um, but in, in communication with her and back and forth, and uh, she's really in, I mean, she's, She's a higher, you know, she's been in the higher levels of Hollywood. I'll just say it that way. Um, again, I'm, the reason I'm keeping personal details private, uh, I, I just, there's a lot of people that are enemies of this ministry, and right now, till the Lord answers prayers and gets her out of that area, um, I don't want any more, you know, trouble coming upon her than she already has as far as being out there. But uh, basically, what's going on, um, you know, again, I'm not going to get into a whole lot here, but uh, she's been in some higher levels of, of the Hollywood scene and everything else. And um, she has a very uh, expensive home in there in the Hollywood, you know, Hills area and everything else. And uh, the thing's been for sale and she just went through a divorce. And so it's, you know, it's a situation where she needs to get out of that area. Um, I do... I have had contact with a number of different people from Hollywood uh, down through the years. Um, I don't talk about them because I really, I don't want the praise of men and, oh, Brother Brian, he knows, you know, it doesn't matter. They're sinners. They come to Jesus Christ for salvation. They're saved. Praise the Lord. Okay, they have a new life in Christ Jesus. Their old past life is gone. And um, my, my job as a preacher is to, to tell them about this book and to lead them in you know, that path of sanctification as far as tell them how to, you know, what to do and everything else. And so uh, right now she needs to get out of that area. She needs to sell her home. And, you know, it's it's just like major satanic call out there. Again, I've, I've had conversations with people from that Hollywood world and the curses and the, just the weird spiritual stuff that goes on out there. I mean, creepy, creepy, creepy stuff. So, um... You know, just please, I'm not going to share her name or anything else, but please just, um, the, the woman in Hollywood that just got saved not long ago and she needs to sell her house. She wants to sell her house and, and most of her belongings and stuff and just put that life behind her. And um, so please, please, to my faithful brothers and sisters in Christ out there, um, please just lift her up in prayer. Um, it's a, it's a, I mean, coming out of that world, there's a whole lot of spiritual bondage and things there. Um, it's real bad. So please pray fervently. I've been praying. Um, you know, there's people that request prayer and things, and we'll add them to our nightly prayer list and things. This is such a situation where we're, we're literally play, praying for as much as we can throughout the day. Um, just taking time and just let's pray for her right now. And She needs your urgent prayers. So um, there are... You know, it's kind of an interesting thing. My wife and I were having a conversation about this. It's just like the professing Christian world is going like this, crashing, just nose diving. I mean, I've seen so many people I thought were friends and, and things, and they've just turned on me, just viciously turned on me. I've seen other people, and they say, oh, brother, I don't agree with what you're saying here, but, you know, whatever. You just continue doing what you're doing. Fine. But, you know, some of these people just turn viciously on me, and it's like I'm seeing professing Christianity getting worse and worse, more hatred, more division, whatever. But as professing Christians go down, things are getting a lot worse out there in the world for the lost people. And they're starting to see, hey, this this uh, world that I've had so much, so many dreams and so many everything else about, uh, it's crashing down around us. They're seeing the economy going up, you know, going crashing and burning they're seeing the natural disasters they're seeing all the stuff and they're just going i need to get something real i mean what better place to discover that the world is fake than in hollywood you get out there and all of a sudden you realize all the success and all the fame and all the fortune that is out there uh it's all fake it doesn't bring you happiness the bible says he that loveth silver shall not be satisfied with silver um, there's a great little door of opportunity here for people from Hollywood uh, and anything, any kind of higher level 
occult type of thing, be it military intelligence, uh, Hollywood, um, anything like that. There's a great window of opportunity that's now open where these people can get saved. And they're not going to get saved through church buildings. Um, a lot of them, again, if you're a celebrity, what are you going to do? Go into a church building, half the people there, well, most of the people there would worship you. You know, you're coming to them for help and they're coming to you for an autograph. Talk about messed up. And that's exactly what they would do. Um, but thanks be to God that we actually now have this tool of the internet where we can actually get preaching and teaching out to people and you can watch it in the privacy of your own home. You can get saved right there in your own home without ever even having to contact anybody. You know, read the Bible on your own, King James Bible. Stay away from these Babel buildings, you know. Please take my advice on that. If you're a celebrity out there and you're thinking about getting saved and you want to know more about Jesus Christ, King James Bible. That's the standard of truth. I'll tell you what. I've compared them to the other ones. i got a whole bunch of them down there and whatever. I don't want to go off on a big thing. But the point is, there's a big opportunity for some high-level people to get out of the system and get saved right now. And, uh, you know, as the lights are going down, so to speak, more and more people are falling away from the truth. Those of us that are really saved, we're going to shine brighter. And I'll tell you what, uh, when it's daytime, and you see these signs, you're driving through a construction zone, and you see these signs, and it says, turn your headlights on when you're in a construction zone. And it's like a really bright sunny day, and I think, well, you turn your headlights on, it doesn't even mean anything. But how about at night? You see? Imagine if there are 50 cars on the road and 49 of them have their lights off at night and one has their lights on. Uh, which one are you going to see? Well, brethren, as it's getting darker, your light as a Christian is going to shine that much brighter. So we live in tremendous times. Yes, it's depressing to see how things are getting so bad, but I'll tell you what, the light that is in you because of Jesus Christ, you reflect that light of Jesus Christ, you're a representative for Him, an ambassador, you know, um, it's going to shine brighter. We have a great opportunity. And um, it's, it's amazing, this uh, sister in the Lord, the one that just got saved here, you know, I'm requesting a prayer for, she's, she's, she wants to go and witness to people, go give out tracts and things like this. The Lord's working in her life. But, you know, there's that tie there because of the home and the other belongings and things like that. Um, so we really, let's, let's really focus and pray for her that the Lord will help that place to sell and that she can cut her ties to Hollywood and just get out of that whole mess. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's going to be very hard and I'm, I, I know it's very hard. I mean, it, we're just, let me just say this, you know, we're here in this town and things and, um, in this house and things. This was never our intent to be here. And I know it's vexing sometimes. We're living right near the highway and there's, you know, all kinds of stuff around here that's, that can be very vexing. But Hollywood? I mean, no, that's like way worse. I mean, she's got like movie stars for neighbors. Okay? I mean, we're talking crazy stuff. And the vexation that comes on that. The wild parties, the loud music, the everything. Uh, you can imagine, I'm sure. So please, please, please take some time. When this video is done, you know, when this video stops, please just, just take a minute and, and bow your head and just say, Lord, whoever this sister is, you know who she is. I just pray, Lord, that you would help her house to sell, help her to be able to please protect her, put a hedge of protection around about her, and um, just just keep her safe until she's away, away from that whole mess. Um, I think she could be a great, her testimony definitely would be a great witness to the lost world. So that is going to be it. Uh, please do hold her up in prayer. Thank you for watching.